I want to thank the creators of the amazing UU Beloved Conversations Racial Justice Program for the inspiration for this story. Beloved Conversations is entirely virtual and I just finished the fall session that had about 1,200 participants. It was transformational. You should do it too. Registration for the spring session opens in February with sessions starting mid-March. If you get nothing else from anything I say today, I hope you take away the message that you all should look up Beloved Conversations at Meadville Lombard and seriously consider registering. For now, I encourage you to habit your, inhabit your body. Oop, I'll drop my water while I inhabit my body. <laughs> By watching me and doing what I do. The simple act of watching and mirroring the actions of others is surprisingly powerful. You're invited to use the magic of our eight fingers to think about inheritance. Know that the only way to get this wrong is to refuse to try, modify or take breaks whenever you need. If it feels goofy, but tolerable to mimic me, know that by stretching the edges of your comfort zone, you are increasing your learning capacity. The litany of my family stories could fill the rest of our time together, but fear not, I boil this down to something more like poetry. I encourage you to explore your own family stories along with me. Please tread gently if pain arises for any reason. However, and through whoever you arrived in this world, I am so grateful that you are here today. Perhaps holding some gentle space in your heart for hurts from the past will bring us some healing. Perhaps today is a day to lean in to the nourishment of blessing. Or maybe it will be a mixed bag. Let your inner wisdom be your guide when exploring your inheritance. Let's begin. I have a single last name passed down from man to child. But even if my parents had chosen to hyphenate and combine their two names, it would represent only half of their four parents. And family trees continue to branch swiftly. By the next level of great grandparents, only three steps deep, oops, 14 lives have biologically led to us. As someone who will never appear as a biological ancestor on a family tree, it stings that this simplified chart of direct ancestry doesn't even count my two precious aunties, Ursula and Marilyn, who are the keepers of my respective um, family stories and without whom I would not have the first names of ancestors to share. A complex web of biological and chosen family are vital to ancestry. All family trees are dangerously oversimplified. Acknowledging that any family tree is limiting prepares the ground for us to effectively explore their power. I'm gonna start with my mom. Two parents. From Inga, my mom, biting my tongue from Tom, my dad, wearing my heart on my sleeve. Four grandparents. From Lydia, my mum's mum, thinking by talking. From Hunts, my mum's dad, being skookum. From Ruby, my dad's mum, cross-referencing stories for discrepancies. From Bert, my dad's dad. Those who leave too soon are deeply missed. Eight great-grandparents.
from Marta, my mum's mum's mum. We live on in those we love. From Wilhelm, my mum's mum's dad. Miraculous harmony. From Anna, my mum's dad's mum. Just keep knitting. From Vili, my mum's dad's dad. Shenanigans. From Anna, my dad's mum's mum. Thrift and curls. From Malcolm, my dad's mum's mum. Oh, my dad's mum's dad. Malcolm would like that probably. Um, one step at a time. From Bessie, my dad's dad's mum. Trousers. From Frank, my dad's dad's dad. Winging it. Stories grow sparser as I reach my 16 great grandparents and fade out by my 32 great, great, great grandparents. But these 62 ancestors were real people too, and each of their lives and choices led to me and shaped my world. What we do with our lives now matters. It matters to the next generation and to those that follow them and the children of our children's children. Our stories too will become sparse and eventually fade entirely. But even then, our actions will have shaped the world. Feel free, uh, feel yourself in this moment as the generational pivot point between those who have led to us and those who will follow us. What came before? What is yet to be? What is your inheritance? What is your legacy? <laughs>